Lesson 4.7, Identity and Inverse Matrices. So we, we talked about this briefly before. Um, what's the identity matrix? Well, let's back up. What's the identity for addition? So for addition, we have uh, 4 plus something has to equal itself. That something is 0, so that's the identity. It's the additive identity. For multiplication... 4 times something equals 4. So that's 1. That's the multiplicative identity. Now, when we talk about a matrix identity, we talk about the multiplicative identity. Because for addition, it's just a zero matrix, zero, 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 zero. But it's confusing for not scalar multiplication, but matrix multiplication. It's a very different animal. It's got different rules. Um, we discussed that it. we thought it might be 1, 1, 1, 1. We tried it, and it failed. Somebody said, well, hey, why don't you try 1, 0, 0, 1. We said, I think that's it. So let's check. If we take 4, 2, negative 3, 0, multiply by 1, 0, 0, 1, we get 4, 2 is gone, 4 is gone, 2, negative 3, 0. Now it works, but this could cause problems in that. We don't know which way to put it, so let's see if it works both ways. Is it first or second? So if we do it this way, we get 4, 2, negative 3, 0. It works both ways. So this is the uh, the identity matrix. Doesn't matter which way we use it; it'll pop up a little bit later. How about a three by three matrix? So you might kind of guessed. It's not that challenging a thought. Just got the ones down the middle. We'll uh, touch on this kind of obliquely, nothing direct, but be aware of it. So 4x4 four four is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. The 1's going to diagonal from top left to bottom right. So now, how about an additive inverse? i got to get to the identity. So 4 plus something equals 0. The additive identity is after the equals, so it's negative 4. How about just regular multiplication? 4 times what equals 1? 1 fourth. So how do we know we get back to the identity? We multiply and we get zero for uh, one for multiplication, and when we add and we get zero for addition. So if these two are multiplicative inverses, based on the work we've done so far, we better get the one zero zero one when we add them, uh, multiply them. So let's see if we do. Three times one is three. Four times negative one half is negative two. Three minus two equals one. Negative six plus six is zero. One minus one is zero. 
Negative two plus three is one. So again, I said this in my last video, we check, put a little check mark, but again, my completely unique idea that I came up with all my myself and didn't get from like a certain student, let's just say hypothetically speaking. We have to double check. We have to check both ways because we showed it earlier, it better work. It's interesting because we do know that matrices multiplication is not commutative. So I would expect this not to work. 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 3 halves plus 3 halves is 0. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And how about that? It works both ways. So these two are multiplicative inverses. And from here on out, whenever we say inverses, we just mean multiplicative inverses for matrices. Finding an additive inverse for a matrix is pretty straightforward stuff. So how do we find the actual multiplicative inverse? Given A, B, C, D, it's weird. This is A. A to the negative first. Now, whenever possible in this unit, I've let people try to figure out things for themselves. Is it intuitive? Is it not? This is completely unintuitive. 1 divided by AD minus BC, the determinant. I think that's weird that the determinant popped up. Where do you see this? Flip the A and the D. Just flip them. The A is in the upper left. Now it's in the bottom right. And keep the B and C there, but slap negatives in front of them. That's it. That's how you find the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. So go to it. There's three of them. Try them all. I'm going to do them in a second, so pause if you want to try it on your own. I like to find the determinant first. 6 minus 5 is 1. And then the inverse is, flip them, 2, divide by the determinant, 2, 1, negative 1, pardon me, negative 5. So we... Flip these, and we negativize those. No, I know negativize is not a word. We divide by that, but since we have divided by 1, nothing has changed. You may wish to check to see if that actually creates, but I'll just do a quick one. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 5 is 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, times three plus 3 is 0. Looks like it works. Again, I'm going to do it. Determinant equals zero. We're done. Easy problem. There's no inverse. That's it. There, certain matrices have zero. This is uh, similar to parallel lines or the same line in a system of equations. Everything just stops. We don't keep going. We're done. So doing the last one, just take the determinant. It's 2 minus 30. It's negative 28. It's going to give us a big, ugly number. Go 1 divided by negative 28. Flip the 1 and the 2. Put negatives on the other 2. I like to distribute it. Certain textbooks stop there, but I don't know why. I just like to crank it out. And that's it. You're done. 
So more ticky tack rules for determinant uh, for matrices, but otherwise not too bad. Good luck.